The ripple effects of the resignation of Michael Flynn as National Security Advisor continued to roll out across Washington. He resigned, of course, after his contacts with the Russian ambassador during the transition became a source of conflict. And when he had apparently misled others in the administration, including the vice president, about whether he had discussed improperly with the Russian ambassador the sanctions the Obama administration imposed on Russia for its interference or alleged interference in the 2016 election. I think two ways to watch for how these practical effects of, of that resignation play out. Uh, first is look for how the investigation of the broader question of Russian interference in 2016's voting uh, plays out in Congress. Democrats in Congress don't want this investigation to simply be bottled up in committees in the House and Senate that conduct uh, oversight of intelligence activities. They're worried that Republicans control those committees and can keep the lid on any investigations. They would like either a select House-Senate Intelligence Committee uh, to look into this matter, which will be a way of giving more staff and raising the profile of the investigation, or to form an entirely new select committee to look into the question of Russian interference and Russian relationships with the Trump uh, uh, campaign in 2016. That, again, would raise the profile of the investigation. Republicans are likely to resist, but that's going to be an important question uh, in, in determining what kind of uh, profile congressional investigations get. Second thing to watch is relationships between the president, President Trump, and the intelligence community, which have again been strained. He's very publicly blaming the intelligence committee for leaks of information about Michael Flynn's conversations with the Russian ambassador, saying that that's the reason he was forced to resign, that it was improper and illegal. And clearly there's a feud underway again between Donald Trump and the intelligence community, or at least some in the intelligence community. This was a recurring feature of the transition and we're back into that space now. That has potentially serious implications for how the administration and the White House uh, relate to the intelligence community going forward.